in order to compose um, what are the space break paragraphs, pecans, things that, like as Tim mentioned, it, and I like that phrase, that the human eye needs to look at it in order to be able to determine it because the hub with its you know, set of rules will not be able to determine what is a pecan, what is a PSAC, and so on and so forth, uh, just based on spacing and whatnot. Um, you would go through and you would look at the document, right? And let's say here, we'll call this normal for now. Don't worry about what I just did there. I'm just applying the normal style. Uh, so that way you can see how I apply uh, the pecan style. So let's say I'm going through and I run into this paragraph continued. I'm saying, okay, uh, sort of to link it back to Kathy's earlier question, right? I'm looking at him like, okay, this paragraph I know is gonna be paragraph first uh, because it's the first paragraph in the chapter and that's the only paragraph first you will ever have it's the first paragraph in the chapter it doesn't occur anywhere else so i'll know that i'll say okay so i'm going to leave that one alone because the hub can handle that for me right and i see this interrupting element this list here and then i see this following paragraph right most of the other paragraphs from an, our analysis had the indentation or they had a tab to indicate that they should be just a standard paragraph, but this one doesn't have the indentation. And let's say that this was in English, I could look at this and say, all right, let me look at this last sentence, okay, more or less understand the idea. I'm looking down now at this paragraph and say, oh, it's a continuation of this same idea. Let me make that, you know, paragraph continued. What hinted me to that was the indentation. Now, let's say I read and I say that this is, this is a completely different idea. It's moving on, you know, from the previous one, but it's its own uh, individual paragraph, then I would make that paragraph. And those are the questions that you have to make when you're um, composing. Like this is the, what we're, we're trying to teach in, in a sense. You know, that when you're looking at something and say, hey, this is different, this is rendered different for, is it for a reason or is it that the author made a mistake or anything like that? And that's what you're looking for. You're looking to ask yourself those questions and say, okay, this is, this should be something else other than a standard paragraph. So let me look at the SEML list or the abbreviated list available on the, on the module and say, okay, this looks like a paragraph continued. I have a styled for paragraph continued. So I'm going to compose it as paragraph continued. So, and that's what you would be doing throughout the rest of the document for all those paragraphs that need, um, you know, the human eye. So paragraphs with, you know, that serve as section breaks, which we have the PSEC, uh, P-S-E-C, um, style for, or paragraphs that, you know, are continuations after an interrupting element, paragraph continued, as we've discussed, right? You would also want to compose any um, un- um, um, any like section breaks or or uh, breaks in poetry stanzas see going through and like for example this one this one's not indented right as Anita has well pointed out right but the thing is is that we have something else around it that gives us context as to what this should be composed as right you have the section break that is right before it meaning Exactly. Um, it can't be continued because the section already broke. So that's why we'd leave that one alone. And that one would actually get the paragraph um, after style. So like, this would get the paragraph after uh, style because it's coming after the section break. The section break would be handling the space um, above the paragraph as Tim um, described earlier in our overview. Right. So that's why this would not be a pecan. Right, so uh, we're looking at that. We're also, we're always looking at that context. Again, same thing here, right? We leave that normal because the hub will be able to make this PAFT automatically because the hub will pick up that it's a paragraph after a head. And of course, there's no continu continuation before that. Uh, um, so just quickly to sort of get to a good breaking point, right? Those questions that, that I've been mentioning that you just ask yourself and that like at this point come natural to us who have been working for it, um, that's almost a way of thinking that lets you look beyond the rendering of something and say, okay, what is this? What is this actually, right? And you have to sort of think in that way when you're composing. You have to look at the, uh, the file and say, okay, the author may have made everything underlined, but what he really wanted to do was emphasis, and this is Chicago Manual style or whatever it might be, and you know, emphasis is italic, not underlined let me go ahead and change that. And those kind of decisions, right, are the questions that you, you know, you ask yourself as you go through the 
entire document. And just to touch lightly upon it, and then we'll bring it back up when, when we come back from, from lunch, um, it's the idea, like let's say you have, like this is very easy to go through, you know, when you have a document that is three pages long. But if you have a document that is 600 pages long, you're thinking, wow, how much time does composition take for that? It does take some time. It won't be the same amount of time because there is some human aspect to it. But once you actually start asking yourself those questions, most 600 page documents, even textbooks, um, a good, what, 60, 70% of it is just P and you don't need to worry about those because they're just paragraph. What you need to worry about is that other 30%, that other stuff that's like, okay, this should be a sidebar, this should be pecan and all that, um, paragraph continue. And so you wanna you know, think in that sense. As you noticed while I was composing last class and um, this sort of contributed to me going kind of quickly, you know, having looked through this document, I know at this point that this, like for example, what I'm highlighting here on my screen um, is a standard paragraph because of the indentation, because you know of whatever it might might be. And so, at that point, I'm not even looking at those standard P paragraphs because I know that the hub is going to handle that. So yes, a 600-page document will take you know quite a bit more than you know a 30-page document, but it's not going to be you know incredibly long. And there are other things that you can do to um, other sort of like word um, shortcuts that you can use to compose things quickly. Things that we're sort of not discussing now because they are sort of subjective and personal and people work in the best way possible. But um, if when you're working on your actual files and you run into the 600 page document and you're saying, wow, I'm, I'm not going to be able to compose this in time or, you know, I don't even know how to start. It's going to take me a week to do this you're always more than welcome to talk to us and say, hey, is there a way I can do this faster? You know, if you're gonna be doing the composition. Or you might even turn around and say, scribe, compose this for me because I can't, I, I can't deal with this right now. You know, that's also a viable uh, option to you because remember, we're here to help you. Um, the sort of, I know I'm gonna sound sort of like a broken record, but that was part of the feedback. I need to sort of say some of the things often, right? To, to like really hammer it in that we are here, right? Because, you know, that is what we're here for. We're here to help. Um, and you're not alone out there in the sea to keep with the water metaphor, right? We are here to help. Um, so you would ask yourself those questions for those uh, space break human eye paragraphs, right? And then after that, if you move on to step six, and this is all we'll say on that, you'll use those same questions. So you'll go right back to the top of the document and scroll all the way through, right? And look for those other non-P paragraphs, which are sidebars, epigraphs, block quotes. Um, the way that you can tell, um, you know, that for example, that something's a block quote, it would be um, indented. Let me see. 